The Engines and Energy Conversion Laboratory is a unique facility. Uh, it's been around for only 10 years, but in that time has grown from a fledgling laboratory to a facility that actually has a truly national mission. We have developed technology that is making substantial impact on the nation's energy and environment. Uh, technology that we've developed has gone into production. Within a couple of years, uh, it will be uh, reducing the amount of natural gas usage in the United States by 20 billion cubic feet per year and reducing the emissions of uh, NOx, which uh, helps to make smog, by 5 million pounds a year. But it also has a very strong educational mission. We have 110 students, uh, we, we've employed 110 undergraduates since we started the laboratory. Uh, as well as uh, about 45 graduate students. Uh, to support those students, we do a lot of contracts and grants work, uh, over $13 million to date. In the future, the types of problems that we're working on continue to become even more important. So there are substantial needs to develop the new technology that we're working on right now. Things like micropilot ignition, uh, for engines where we use uh, small squirts of diesel fuel to light off the mixture in, in big industrial engines. Uh, laser ignition, in which we used focused lasers to ignite uh, engines. And then we can also use the light that comes from those lasers to, uh, as uh, diagnostics to help tell us what's going on inside the engine so we can further improve the efficiency and reduce the pollution. The work we're doing has had substantial impact in the United States, certainly on environment, uh, on uh, the uh, energy, also on economic development. The technologies that we've uh, developed are being produced by a number of U.S. manufacturers and actually having a very substantial contribution even here in Fort Collins. Uh, our work is not only national as well, it's, uh, it's international. Uh, we are working with companies right now in um, England, in France, in Austria, in Australia. Uh, and technologies that we've developed uh, for things like clean uh, two-stroke engines have important applications in areas such as uh, China, India, and Asia. So I think what we can say is that uh, this is a facility in which we educate students, we develop technology, uh, and we try as hard as we can to make sure that that goes into production so it produces a positive benefit for society.